Now in today's lecture, I'm going to cover summation of series from binomial theorem chapter. Now I'm going to cover each and every series which is possible and can be asked in IIT JEE and already been asked in IIT JEE. I'm going to cover each and everything from elementary to advanced. So let's start with the very basic thing is sum of binomial coefficients. Now how to calculate sum of this binomial coefficient? This is very elementary and I'm going to start with the first one. So first one is NC0 plus NC1 so on till NCN it's very easy and I think all of you know it. So I think 1 plus x whole raised to power n is if I open this expansion I'll get this as NC0 plus NC1 x plus NC2 x square and so on till NCN x to power n. Now here if you want the binomial coefficients here some of binomial coefficients so I think x is stopping you here in order to calculate that. Now in order to remove x you're going to put x is equal to here 1 because directly you will get the sum of binomial coefficient and that will be equal to 2 raised to power n as nc0 plus nc1 plus nc2 so on till ncn here. Now suppose you want sum of binomial coefficient but in alternate negative positive order. So in order to get that in the same identity see this is an identity which I've written here that is the expansion of 1 plus x whole raised to power n. Identity means you can put any x here, x is, any x is valid, even complex is also valid here. So in this I'm going to put x is equal to minus 1 in order to get alternate negative positive. So with odd power negative will pop out, with even power only it will be positive only. So here on the left hand side we'll get this as 0 and here we'll get this as nc1 plus, sorry, minus nc1, nc0 minus nc1 plus nc2 minus nc3 and so on till minus 1 raised to power n ncn because n I don't know even or odd so that's why I've written like this. Now next I'm going to calculate the third one. Now in order to calculate the third series and the fourth series if you notice one thing the lower indexes here are even 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 and the lower index in the fourth series is odd odd and odd. So I'm going to use the previous result the previous result was sum of all binomial coefficient was 2 raised to power n we have calculated and then alternate was 0 here as we have done. So I'm going to write the first one nc0 plus nc1 plus nc2 and so on till ncn the last term it is equal to 2 raised to power n and similarly the second series was nc0 minus nc1 plus nc2 and so on the last term it will be equal to 0. So the moment you take the sum I think the term which is having the lower index odd will cancel out as you can see here. And I don't know about the last term because if n is odd, last term will cancel out, n is even, last term will not cancel out. So here, here if you add nc0 is coming twice plus nc2 is coming twice. Similarly for nc4 and it goes till last term. So this is 2 raised to power n and divide by 2 because every term is coming 2 times. So this divide by 2 will be equal to 2 raised to power n minus 1 here. So sum of even binomial coefficient I can say. 2 raised to power n minus 1 and sum of odd will be also 2 raised to power n minus 1. Now we'll move on to the types of series. Now, now I'm going to start type 1 series in binomial. So how to identify type 1 series in binomial? If your binomial coefficient is being multiplied by some other constant and you'll see some pattern or series then this is type 1. So let's say s will be the sum of the series. Now if you open this you'll see this you'll get this as 0 into nc0 plus 1 into nc1 plus 2 into nc2 and so on till n into nc n here. Now there are two ways to solve this. One is method 1. And this I prefer this. Why? Because whenever see whenever the coefficients of binomial coefficient are in AP as you can see 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on till n. They are in AP. Whenever you see coefficients of binomial coefficients are in AP then reverse the, reverse the sequence and add. Why? I'll tell you now. So write the sequence again 0 into nc0 plus 1 into nc1 plus 2 into nc2 and so on till n into ncn. Now I'm going to reverse and add. So I'm going to write this as n into ncn plus n minus 1 into nc n minus 1 plus so on till I'm going to write this till 0 into nc0. I've just reversed the sequence. Now reverse the sequence and add this. So we'll get s plus s that is 2 times of s will be equal to. Now see nc0 and ncn are equal. Why? Because you know ncr is equal to nc n minus r here. So I'm going to add these two so I can take n common here. So the summation of these two will be ncn only. 
Now, similarly, the next one, if you add nc1 and ncn minus 1, nc1 is equal to ncn minus 1. So, if you add 1 and n minus 1, again it will be n. Similarly, till the last term it will be n. So, everything I can take n common from everything and the remaining will be nc0 plus nc1 plus nc2 and so on till ncn here. So, I think this will be 2s will be equal to n and then sum of all binomial coefficient I think I proved last in the last slide that is 2 raised to power n. So, from here s will be equal to n into 2 raised to power n divided by 2 will be 2 raised to power n minus 1. And I advise you to remember this because this will be very useful and frequently used. Now, what if if the coefficients of binomial coefficients are not in AB? Let's say it's not in AB as of now. Okay, and I'm going to do the second method right now. What if if the coefficients are not in AP, then second method is in general, it is valid for any series of type 1. Now I'm going to do the same question with the general method of type 1. Now, as I told you that if the coefficient or binomial coefficient is not in AP, let's suppose, let's say this is R cube or R square or 2R plus 1 or 2R cube plus 1, something, something. Now, if this is not in AP, then this method is generally applicable for all types of series, which is valid here. And I'm going to show you some different examples too. Now we know the sum, it is equal to n into 2 raised to power n minus 1. But I'm going to calculate from a different method. So the different method is, method is called method 2. And this method is called method of differentiation. And why it is called method of differentiation, I'll tell you now. So let's say 1 plus x whole raised to power n. This is an identity and I can write this as, you can say, summation of n c r x s to power r. Now here r is varying from 0 to n here. And I can show you, I can open this. It will be n c 0 plus n c 1 x plus n c 2 x square and so on till n c n x s to power n. And in com compact form, I can right click like this. Now, here you want r outside. In order to get r into ncr, I'm going to differentiate this equation with respect to x from both sides. So on the right hand side, if you differentiate, you'll get this as summation. ncr is as it is here. You'll get x s to power r minus 1 and r will come outside because differentiation of x s to power r is r into x s to power r minus 1. Now here r is varying from 0 to n here. Now on the left hand side, easily I can differentiate this linear. That differentiation will be n into 1 plus x s to power n minus 1. And differentiation of 1 plus x is 1. Now you want r into ncr and you don't want x to power r minus 1. Now in order to remove x to power r minus 1, I'm going to put x is equal to 1 here because this is an identity. So I'm going to put x is equal to 1 here. And on the right hand side, I'll get this as summation. r is varying from 0 to n. r into ncr and x to power 1 will be 1 here. On the left hand side, I'll get this as n into 2 raised to power n minus 1. And as I told you, the result will be same. So if you open the series, you'll get this as 0 into nc0 plus 1 into nc1 and so on till n into ncn. The sum is n into 2 raised to power n minus 1. We got the from the previous method. And the new method, we also got n into 2 raised to power n minus 1. Now let's try some combination in type 1 only. Now let's say I want to calculate summation of r is varying from 0 to n r plus 1 multiplied by ncr. Now, this time we want r plus 1 this side. So, always start with 1 plus x whole raised to power n. And this will be equal to summation ncr x to power r. Now, if you directly differentiate here, this r will come outside. But my objective is to get r plus 1 outside. Now, in order to get r plus 1 outside, I'm going to multiply by x. So, if you multiply by x, this will be equal to x into 1 plus x whole raised to power n is equal to summation ncr you will get x to power r plus 1 here now if you see here if i differentiate directly that r plus 1 term will come outside as it is so differentiating this on both sides with respect to x so i'm differentiating this so here on the left hand side i think i need to apply product rule so if i'm applying product rule differentiation of first second constant differentiation of second first constant so I'll get something like this. Now differentiating on the right hand side will give me ncr multiplied by or you can write this as r plus 1 multiplied by ncr and x to power r. Now here 
you you don't want access to power r in order to make access to power as 1 i'm going to put x is equal to 1 here so putting x is equal to 1 in this identity so plug the value x is equal to 1 on the left hand side you will see you will get this as 2 raised to power n plus n into 2 raised to power you will get n minus 1 sorry here i made a mistake so it is 2 raised to power n minus 1 on the right hand side you will get this as summation r plus 1 times ncr and r is varying from 0 to n and this you don't need to remember you can calculate anytime whenever you want so let's move on to the next variation now our next variation is summation of r is varying from 0 to n r plus 1 into r plus 2 and ncr so if you notice one thing the coefficient of binomial coefficient is not varying in ap because if you open this you will get this as 1 into 2 into nc0 plus 2 into 3 into nc1 and so on so as you can notice here that coefficients of binomial coefficient are not in ap so method of differentiation will be perfectly used here so what i'm going to do is i have to start with 1 plus x whole raised to power n always always start with this and write this as summation of ncr x to power r now in order to get r plus 2 outside i think i need to multiply by here on both sides by x square multiplying by x square and then left hand side will be x square into 1 plus x whole raised to power n and on the right hand side we'll get summation of ncr and x to power r plus 2 now i think i need to differentiate here it's very much clear i'm going to differentiate on both sides with respect to x here so differentiating on both sides with respect to x will give you here i think i need to apply product rule so i'll get this as 2x into 1 plus x whole raised to power n minus 1 sorry n only plus n into x square into 1 plus x whole raised to power n minus 1 now on the right hand side i think i'll get this as summation of r plus 2 outside as it is and then ncr into x to power r plus 1 now i think we want r plus 1 again in front of ncr again i want to differentiate here because in order to get r plus 1 outside i need to differentiate with respect to x so differentiating with respect to x so i'm going to differentiate with respect to x on both sides so here on the left hand side i have to apply a product rule so we'll get this as two times of one plus x whole raised to power n as it is here now differentiating this so we'll get 2n x multiplied by 1 plus x whole raised to power n minus 1 now let's differentiate the second term using product rule only so we'll get this as 2n x into 1 plus x whole raised to power n minus 1 and then the differentiation of second term so we'll get this as n into n minus 1 into x square multiplied by 1 plus x whole raised to power n minus 2 now on the right hand side we'll get this as summation of what we desire that is r plus 1 into r plus 2 and x is to power r here now in order to remove x is to power r or make it as 1 i'm going to put x is equal to 1 in the series so if i put x is equal to 1 i'll get this as summation of r plus 1 into r plus 2 ncr it will be equal to i'm going to write here that is that will be equal to in the final i'm going to put x is equal to 1 so you will get this as 2 into 2 raised to power n plus here you will get this as uh, this term will be 2 into n multiplied by 2 raised to power n minus 1 plus uh, you will get this as 2n multiplied by 2n multiplied by 2 raised to power n minus 1 plus you will get this as n into n minus 1 multiplied by 2 raised to power n minus 2 so this will be our final answer and you can modify it now this is the final variation in type 1 now feel free to pause the video and try this problem so if you're not able to solve this problem i'm going to give you a hint here the hint is first i'm going to write 1 plus x whole raised to power n as always as summation ncr x to power r now if you differentiate right now if you directly differentiate right now you'll get x r outside because differentiation of x to power is r is r into x to power r minus 1 now the problem arises that you will get r minus 1 again by differentiating so do one thing here we got after differentiation here we got r into ncr x to power r minus 1 so if you double if you double differentiate right now you will get r minus 1 outside and we what we want r square so in the step multiply by x on both sides and then again differentiate so you'll get r square 
then in the end put x is equal to 1 you will get your answer so this will be the solution for this question now moving towards type 2 how to identify type 2 is previously we have seen that coefficient of binomial coefficients are varying in numerator now this time if they are varying in denominator that is type 2 let's say s is the series sum and if i open this i'll get this as nc0 plus nc1 divided by 2 plus nc2 divided by 3 and so on till ncn divided by n plus 1 now as you can see the series is varying in denominator the coefficient is varying in denominator they can give you r square here r plus 1 into r plus 2 and r plus 3 and some any variation they can give you like we have given in numerator so what to do in this case okay what which method we're going to apply here so if you focus on one thing that is if we differentiate x to power r i'll get r into x to power r minus 1 and we wanted earlier we wanted r outside the variations we wanted in numerator now suppose i want the variation in denominator okay now if i integrate this i'll get this as x to power r plus 1 upon r plus 1 so it's very obvious that i have to integrate on both sides so let's start with 1 plus x whole raised to power n so 1 plus x whole raised to power n will be equal to summation of you can write this as ncr and x to power r i think you got very much comfortable with this now let's integrate on both sides so if you integrate on the right hand side we'll get this as summation of ncr into x to power r plus 1 divided by r plus 1 that we want now on the left hand side integration will be 1 plus x whole raised to power n plus 1 whole divided by n plus 1 and the lower limit i'm integrating from 0 to x let's say the lower limit i'm deciding and upper limit i'm deciding so in this case if you put upper limit you'll get this as 1 plus x whole raised to power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 and when you put the lower limit you'll get this as minus times so of 1 upon n plus 1 here so this will be equal to summation of ncr x to power r plus 1 upon r plus 1 now here we don't want x in order to eliminate x i'm going to put x is equal to 1 because 1 raised to power anything is 1 so here we'll get this as just one second i'll erase this so if you put x is equal to 1 here you'll get this as 2 raised to power n plus 1 minus 1 upon n plus 1 i can take common here because this is a common for both of the term lcm and on the right hand side i'll get this as summation of 1 upon r plus 1 into ncr as you can say here so we'll get the sum like this now if they present you different variation i think you'll be able to deal this the same way you have dealt with in differentiation so this is called method of integration type 2 let's move on to type 3 now type 3 series i'm going to explain from an example in this example you have to notice a particular pattern the pattern is earlier if you see the lower indices was even if the lower index is even i think we have calculated the sum was 2 raised to power n minus 1 but here if you notice one change that is alternate negative positive is there in between them so if this is the case if the lower indexes are even and alternate negative positive are there and similarly goes for odd also if the lower index is odd and there's an alternate negative positive sign in between them this is the type 3 series in this type again you're going to write this as nc0 plus nc1 x plus nc2 x square and so on till ncn x to power n we will write this as 1 plus x whole raised to power n now in this we're going to put x is equal to iota because the negative if i want to generate the negative between even events i have to put x is equal to iota you'll see the reason here and n here is 20 here clearly visible so if i put x is equal to iota on the right hand side it will be 1 plus iota whole raised to power 20 and here i'll show you the reason so we'll get 20 c0 and if you write i'm not writing the complex part here i'm only writing the real part on the left hand side because i'm only concerned about the real part if you notice one thing the term which is associated with x x cube and so on will give you iota and that will be imaginary terms now the term which is associated with x square x to power 4 will be real so we'll get 20 c0 minus you'll get you'll get here x square the iota, iota square is here minus 1 so you'll get this as 20 c2 minus 1 similarly next term will be 20 c4 iota raised to power 4 that is 1 and similarly so on till minus 20 c20 here so this is the real part on the left hand side and now i'm going to calculate the real part of 1 plus iota raised to power 20 so our answer is real part of 1 plus iota raised to power 20 
बिकॉज आई एम गोइंग टू कंपेयर रियल विथ रियल एंड इमेजनरी विथ इमेजनरी तो कैन आई राइट दिस एज वन प्लस आयोटा होल रिस्ट होल स्क्वायर एंड होल रिस्ट टू पावर टेन ह्योर तो आई थिंक आई कैन राइट दिस एज वन प्लस आयोटा स्क्वायर विल बी वन माइनस वन एंड देन प्लस टू आयोटा एंड होल रिस्ट टू पावर टेन ह्योर सो दिस विल बी इक्वल टू आई थिंक दिस विल बी इक्वल टू वन एंड माइनस वन विल कैंसल आउट विल गेट दिस एज टू रिस्ट टू पावर टेन एंड आयोटा रिस्ट टू पावर टेन and iota is to power 10 is iota is to power 2 and iota is to power 2 is minus times 2 is to power 10 okay because iota is to power 2 is minus 1 so answer is 2 is to power minus 10 here the sum of the series will be minus 2 is to power 10 now we'll solve one more question here now this is the last problem for type 3 the question is 25 c1 minus 25 c3 plus 25 c5 and so on it's going till 25 c25 so if you notice one thing the lower index is odd an alternate negative positive sign is coming so feel free to pause the video and try this question i have written the answer for you now let's move on to type 4 now moving on to type 4 the first question arises sir how we going to identify an exam the question is of which type so always listen to the hints which i'm going to give you because the moment you identify the problem or the type half of the question will be solved so here in this type 4 the combination of binomial coefficient will be given like this okay So once the combination of binomial coefficients are given, draw a smiley here, and smiley here, and smiley here, and smiley here. The reason is, uh, right now the, check the lower indexes. Their sum is right now zero. The lower index sum is here is two. The lower index sum is four, and so on. The lower indexes for the last sum sum is forty here. Now the first thing you're going to do is make the lower index sum as constant throughout the sum. It should be constant. Let's say I'm writing this as thirty c zero as it is. and this i am writing 20c0 i am modifying the second term of each term so second term i am writing this as ncr is nc and minus r so i think this this i can write this as 20c20 also next term 30c1 i am not changing the second term of this term i am changing so i am writing this 20c1 as 20c19 here similarly again i am not changing the first term i am writing this as it is 30c2 and i am writing the second term S twenty C eighteen here, and so on till same goes for the last term also. This has thirty C twenty, and the last term is twenty C zero. Now again draw a smiley, and smiley here, and smiley here, and smiley here. Check the sum of the lower index. It's twenty here. The sum of the lower index is twenty here, and here is also twenty. Here is also twenty. Here is also twenty. So the moment the sum of the lower index is twenty, and why I'm saying it should be a constant. Now I'll show you the logic. Corresponding to thirty C zero, the coefficient of x to power r you will get this as x to power zero here, and corresponding to twenty C twenty you will get x to power twenty. So if you merge these two, you will get this as x to power twenty here. Similarly, corresponding to thirty C one you will get x to power one, and corresponding to twenty C nineteen you will get x to power nineteen here. Similarly, corresponding to thirty C two you will get x to power two, and 20c 18 you will get x to power 18 so if you see a common thing i'm every time i'm getting x to power 20 here and similarly x to power 20 here and similarly also here i'm getting x to power 20 if you notice then what i'm doing here in this series i'm going to compare x to power 20 on both sides okay now this series is is written as the sum of coefficients of x to power 20 now in the expansion of i have to find x is to power 20 coefficient is if you open 1 plus x whole is to power 30 in this you will see different different types of binomial coefficient and one of them is 30c0 30c1 and 30c20 and if you open 1 plus x is to power 20 you will see different different binomial coefficient starting from 20c0 to 20c20 now if you multiply some combination is being multiplied of binomial coefficients Now every time I'm getting x to power twenty on the right hand side, so left hand side I'm going to compare coefficient of x to power twenty here. So our answer is coefficient of x to power twenty. So it's very easy to calculate because this is nothing but one plus x whole is to power fifty, and in one plus x whole is to power fifty, if you want coefficient of x to power twenty, I can write easily fifty c twenty, or you can write fifty c thirty. Now this will be our final answer. Now this is the last question in type four. The question is thirty c 
zero multiplied by thirty C ten minus thirty C one multiplied by thirty C eleven and so on till it's going on till thirty C twenty thirty C thirty. Now, if you notice one thing, that is alternate negative part is positive is there in the series. Now, uh, and one more thing is combination of binomial coefficient is given. So first thing is draw a smiley and check whether the sum of lower index is same or not. So I think in the first term it is. 10, the second term it's 12, the third term it's 14, the last term it's 50. So it's, it's not equal. So let's make first the lower to sum of the lower indexes will be same. If the sum of the lower indexes is constant throughout, that means I'm comparing a some co coefficient of x's to power something. That is common for every term. The logic I explained in the last question. So I'm going to write 30c0 and I'm not changing the first term. I'm changing the second term of each term. So that is 30c20 I can write. Next term is 30c1 and I can write this as 30c19 plus 30c2 and I can write this as 30c18 and so on till I can write this as 30c20 and then 30c0. Now if you check the sum of the lower index, I think the sum of the lower indexes are exactly same because here it is 20 and that means I'm comparing x to power 20 here. Similarly here it is x 20 and that means I'm comparing x to power 20. And similarly same goes here and the same goes for the last term that means in this expansion in the expansion of you can write x in x plus 1 raised to power 30 and then second term should be x minus 1 because if you want alternate negative positive it should be x minus 1 raised to power 20 here or let's say 30 sorry 30 now in this i'm comparing x is to power 20 in the expansion of this so our answer is comparing here x is to power 20 on both sides. So this will be equal to x square minus 1 raised to power 30. Now I want x is to power 20 in this expansion. So I'm going to write the general term tr plus 1 the term. So tr plus 1 the term will be 30cr x square raised to power you can say uh, 30 minus r here and minus 1 raised to power r here. Now I want to know at what value of r we will get x is to power 20 here. So let's combine, let's equate it to 20 x to power r. Okay. So we'll get x to power, you'll get this as 60 minus, you can say 2r here. So from here, I think r will be equal to, this is 40 on the other side. And if we divide by 40, you'll get 20 here. r is equal to 20. Now for r is equal to 20, I'll get easily the coefficient of x to power 20 will be, if r is 20, this will be plus 1. And we'll get this as 30, see, 20. Or you can write this as 30 C 10. Both will be given in the option. One of them is correct. Both of them are correct. If both are given or one of them is given, take that option. Now in the next video, I'm going to cover the remaining three types that is type 5, type 6 and miscellaneous type questions. In the meantime, you practice the question based on the following type which I've explained. And I'm going to end the lecture here and that'll be all.